So let's talk about some of those things you do, because, you know, in some of my research with in preparing to interview you, you made a pretty brave decision some years ago to not do the major tours anymore and open up more of this part of your business. You teach and and obviously you you still play and you you're writing transcriptions. Say more about that business, because this is the age of the Internet. You can do a whole lot, right? That's yes, and that is the one thing that I try to impress on everyone that I come across is the internet. Sure, there are bad things that happen on the internet because of the internet. Yes, that's absolutely true. But the internet is amazing. For instance, you and I are talking because of the internet. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. You, you know, anyone listening to this is hearing it because of the internet. Right. I learned how to play drums because of the internet. Uh, So having a presence on the internet, whether you run a plumbing company or you're a drummer is vital to people discovering you, people finding out more about you, you being a resource for people. So, you know, I just, I had my website just like to have it. Mm -hmm. I kind of, sometime in college I built my own website because I was like, well, someone's going to, if someone's going to tell me to do it, everyone says to get a website, like at some point it might be worthwhile, great. So I had a website. Yep. And then I was working on transcriptions myself, just, you know, I want to learn this thing, I want to learn this thing. I wanna, and I had a website and I said, I don't know, I'll throw it up on the website, like whatever, yeah. great. You know, and there was no intention of this is going to be a business, I'm going to make millions of dollars. Like It was just kind of like, I got these transcriptions, I I wanted to do it enough to sit down and so maybe someone else would benefit from seeing it. I don't know. Um, so I always just kind of doing that. In the background, I would be doing a transcription, throwing it on my website, updating my website to look a little bit better. And then two-ish years ago, I said, I am going to take a break from the road being the only way I make money. Mm. And that was terrifying because that's the only way I've made money up to this point. Sure. Right. Right. <laughs> but I was going to say, I'm really going to try to challenge myself to say no to incoming work and try to figure out how it looks. If I'm going to be, cause I have a wife, I wanted to see her as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is very hard to do. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it's very hard to do when sure. you're a hundred miles away constantly. So, um, I, at that point, it became really vital that I had a website because Nashville is not full of people that want to pay for transcriptions or lessons. Nashville is full of people that want to teach yeah, I see. lessons and want to do transcriptions. You know what I mean? Yeah. So as far as getting a student base together, mm-hmm. there are a billion music schools in Nashville. There are hundreds of millions of you know players in Nashville. Right. It's like... The, the whole world, though, in in Nebraska, there's not as many musicians in Nebraska. Uh, in you know, so it's it's kind of this thing of let's use the website, let's really make a push to get valuable content there to help people and see if out of helping these people, I can make money too. Mm-hmm. Um, so. That's looked a lot like it started as Skype lessons, and then I realized that Skype lessons aren't necessarily totally ideal for. I'm not the kind of teacher who's like, because I, I really am passionate about people that are trying to go from, I've learned this stuff in a book, but I want to sound like someone who's not still learning stuff out of a book. Like, right. where, how do I take all this book smart stuff and turn it into street smart stuff? Right. And the sound, practical application yeah and sound professional absolutely and yeah. yeah exactly not sound like a robot not sound like someone who's going to get fired yeah. you know because i believe that on any given gig if you if you do it musically you can play a lot of this stuff that you know people are always like chops get you fired or whatever and it's like well if you use chops in the right place right like a lot of drummers are yeah. it's not going to get you fired and you know i'm kind of passionate about topics like that yeah. which aren't found as readily in books and things of that nature so a lot of the skype people i was teaching it was like they'd have one lesson we'd talk for two hours and then it's like okay probably for the rest of their life they could go and work on the stuff that we just talked about so it was skype lessons were turned into a little more of like a 
every now and then check in mentorship thing, which I really liked. Mm -hmm. But initially when I started doing it, I was like, it's just going to be, you know, I'm going to have like 10 different Skype students. I'm going to make money that way. And then I realized for me and for my students, Skype lessons are different than I thought they would be. Okay. So what else can I do? Right. And then it became, I can transcribe for people. I can edit video for people. I can record for people. I can, you know, there's all these other things that you can do that don't seem directly related to drums, but they are. 